welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm doing an OU video. Um, so I've done a couple in the past talking about various things. Um, I've chatted about tips and tricks for studying independently, um, why I'm studying with the OU, what it's like studying with the OU, studying with the OU full time and working full time. Um, and a couple of people have commented saying that they're thinking of studying with OU in September. Um, so I thought I would just jump on and do a quick video talking about some of the myths that there are surrounding um, Open University, what it's like, um, what you get at the end of it, um, because there are quite a few and there's a lot of misconceptions about studying with Open University. Um, yeah, so I thought I would do a quick video just to chat you through some of those. So, Myth number one that I have come across um, the most is that the Open University is not a real uni. So that is based on the fact that it is not a brick university. Um, it is obviously predominantly online. So in a lot of people's eyes, it's not a real university. Um, this then kind of feeds the whole thought that it's just a hobby it's not like a real university experience it's not proper if that makes sense um so a couple of things regarding that it's very dissimilar um to a brick university you don't get freshers week you don't live in student accommodation um you don't have weekly lectures you um don't get set like been a while since I've been to a, a brick university but it is different um, but that doesn't mean it's not proper um, depending on what your definition of proper is I suppose I mean at the end of it you still get a degree and you still have a university level education um, so no it is a real university it's considered a real university if you will um, if you go on uni days or any kind of website where you're applying for a student discount it comes up as an option for a university um yeah it's a real uni basically is what i'm trying to say in a roundabout way um the second most common myth that i hear is that a degree from the open university is not as valuable or as important or as good as a degree from a brick university true it's just not it's still a university level degree um so for example the degree i'm studying for when i graduate i will have a bachelor of science um degree in psychology it is still graded first two one two two etc um yeah it's worth the same credits quite frankly i'm i'm not sure where the idea that it is not as valuable comes from in fact, I would say in my opinion, it's more valuable to have an open university degree on the basis you are clearly demonstrating that you are effective at organisation, time management and self-motivation. Um, you've done three or six years of studying independently. Most people while juggling either a full-time job or a part-time job. Ooh. Um, yeah, so most people have done that whilst um, juggling either a full-time job, part-time job, family, codependence, all kinds of things. Um, so actually, I think that shows to a lot of employers that you are capable of managing those things in addition to a job. Um, and that makes you more employable, in my opinion. Um, I'm also hopeful that it will actually give me an advantage when it comes to applying for the next stage of my education. So my plan is to then go on to apply for a doctorate um, in psychology and often with doctorates in psychology, or I think just in general, I don't think there's an exception, um, you are studying and working at the same time. And I think it is an advantage to have already had that experience and be able to demonstrate that you have the experience in studying full-time and working full-time um, you can manage both you can keep them separate and also still function as a living human being within reason um, don't get me wrong it's hard um, really hard um, 
which kind of brings me on to the third myth and that is that it's easy I cannot tell you how many times people have told me over that open uni is easy it's an easy degree you don't have to have an A-level you don't have to have a this I don't know if you need to have an A-level I honestly um, I don't think you do I think you have to just have these basic GCSEs in maths and English and if you don't have them I'm pretty sure you can do a foundation degree and get them um, it is more accessible um, but that doesn't mean it's easier just because you don't have to have a higher education to get in um, you still have assignments you still have exams you are still accountable um, and then you throw on top of that the total independence that comes with the Open University the fact that you don't go to lectures there are day schools but there aren't any physical lectures typically for you to go to on a week by week basis um, you have to sort out your own kind of deadlines, miniature deadlines for TMAs, which are tutor marked assignments. Um, yeah, you're on your own and that is harder. Um, in addition to that, the grade boundaries are different to make up for the fact that obviously it is kind of distance learning. So assignments, etc. they are gra graded still in the percentage mark so you could get 73 percent 68 percent but a first is much higher so in order to get a first with the open university i believe that you have to get 80 percent or above average so the typical brick university percentage is 70 or above so yeah a first is a first and you earn it and it's not <laughs> easy um, yeah I don't know who ever decided that that was a thing because it's not um, the next myth is that you don't mix with other students you have nothing to do with the students that's a lie <laughs> um, you can have nothing to do with the students to a degree um, pardon the pun you may have collaborative exercises in your degree so when you've got work that you have to do on forums where you're collecting data etc yes you have to interact with other students on the forums and they do like you to engage on the forums and have conversations with your peers regarding parts and, but that's just for my degree um, I know Megan my other half who is studying for a business degree to the OU she has used the forums um, I personally opted to be part of a whatsapp group for my module and um, the year just gone which was incredibly helpful you also have the opportunity for day schools. They come up kind of when you're coming towards an assignment that's due in, just to check people's understanding, explain how it is working if you're not sure. They do those virtually as well as in person. Um, obviously the in-person side of things hasn't really been going um, due to the current global pandemic, um, but they were still carrying them on kind of virtually. So you can have contact with other students, you do mix with other students, you just may not necessarily see them face to face, unless you want to. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, and the last myth, weirdly, it's a very specific one, you don't have an exam. I mean, I can't speak for all courses, but my course definitely should have had an exam. So we had, I think it was a three and a half hour exam. Um, or something mental like that or you had to write two essays like a university level exam you had to learn there were 42 definitions that we had to learn not all of them were going to come up six of them were going to come up so you had to study this, the 42 definitions in addition to answer either one or two essay questions honestly the second that I knew I didn't have to do it I kind of blocked it out of my head um, yeah I was going to have to do that. Mine was cancelled because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, like all university students, the exams were cancelled. Um, that does mean, as far as I'm aware, I think I've got away without doing an exam. Which is good news for me because I personally suck at exams. Like, major suck. I panic. I, I know the information. Um, but I just panic. And yeah not a good look and it's also not very ideal when you're studying for a degree i don't think i'm gonna get away with that doing a doctorate but we'll see um and as a little side note i am planning on going to a brick university for my doctorate that is purely because 
it needs to be accredited and the Open University Masters for Psychology is not BPS accredited. Um, so that's the British Psychology Society accredited. The degree I'm on now is accredited. So even further proof that it is a proper uni and a proper degree, even the British Psychology Society recognises the Open University Psychology degree um, as a degree. Um, yeah, so that's my little ramble about the different myths and things that I've heard um, over the two years of my degree. If you have any other myths that you've heard about the OU or any other questions about it, um, if you're starting in September, October, in October, or you're thinking of applying by the end of September, then um, drop a comment below or head over to my Instagram page, which is below. Um, yeah, and send me a message. I'm more than happy to talk about my experience with the OU. I wish that I had kind of looked around for content surrounding the OU before I'd signed up because I feel like it would have been so helpful to know a lot of this stuff um, beforehand. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye bye.